Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and welcome to Face Mask Friday. Today, Chelsea and I are going to use this green tea mask. came from the face shop. It's a uh, Korean skincare. And, you know, I thought about it afterwards, and I thought, you know, this is March the 2nd. We're in the month of March. We're approaching St. Patrick's Day very quickly. And so, using things that are green, you know... For St. Patty's Day would be right in the spirit of the holiday. So anyway, I like St. Patrick's Day. So anyway, green tea. Yes, green tea. I like green tea. Green tea is really good for the skin. This is kind of see-through and kind of flimsy. So let me just kind of open it up and show you what I'm talking about here. But I do believe it's going to stay on the face really good. And anyway, I'm going to get it on and I'm going to show you some stuff. Let's see how this fits. It smells, it smells, it's got a really nice scent. Oh, this feels good. Nice and cool. I never have been one to want to like heat up my sheet masks, but there have been some days I felt like sitting on them or, you know, trying to get some of my body heat into them. But usually the coldness that you feel when you first put them on goes away within just a couple of seconds. Because your body heat, you know, just automatically just, phew, it's there. All right, let me throw these little scraps away. And I got my Slay Glam bag. It's supposed to be Slay Glam box, but it didn't come in a box this time. And, uh, but anyway, I am excited about the contents. I've seen the spoilers. I knew what was coming. And I went ahead and played with my other Lorella palette that I pulled out that I thought was very similar to this one. It's called the Va Va Voom palette. So anyway, let's just go over these products really quick. The first thing that I pull out of my bag is from Manica Dar, and it is a mascara and a eyelash curler and I have an eyelash curler but I never use it I may start using it so anyway I have never used Manica Dar's mascara before but I do like Manica Dar's products I've used their lippies I've got um, some other products from them too I placed an order a while back from them and I love their stuff I've used it uh, I discovered them through Ipsy and they've just got really nice things all right and here's another product from Mana Kadar and this is I already broke the seal on it I already opened this bag and you know examined the contents just to make sure nothing was broken anyway here's the compact and this is there it is right there it's a blush Whoop. I just lost a little color saver it's like a blush and highlighter all in one but anyway you can take your brush and swirl it through all the colors or you can just focus you know on the pinks if you want or however you want to do it but it's really pretty and I believe I have this already in my collection I'll have to find it I have to dig it out and find it let me set that there until I can find my color saver but anyway if it is a duplicate then I will put that in a giveaway all right and the next thing is from Oaklawn it's a liquid lip gloss and it feels very lightweight and when you look at it it's like mostly glass and very little product shade number 206 whatever that is a really pretty pink 
um, that's it. There's no name. And it doesn't have the weight on the, the net weight on the, on the outside of the package. I'm, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not really all that impressed with Oaklawn. I just think it's like a grade B makeup company. And then also from Oaklawn is a liquid uh, liner. This is in the shade Wine Red. And I am not sure about this product right here. I never have worn a red eyeliner in my life. Anyway, really thin tip. And I may try that. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So, got those things going. And then the, the main product for me is, of course, the palette. I love Lorella Cosmetics. I have ordered boxes from them before. They have wonderful eyelashes. And their lash glue is the bomb. And their eyeshadow formulas are really nice. So here we go. This is called Scandal. And there's just lots of really pretty reds. There's a gray, a standout shade in there, gray. And then you've got white and a black. I really like that. And then you've got some browns, light browns, dark browns. And some of these shimmers are like golds. So there's a light one and a couple of medium ones. So there's a light gold one down here. And then a couple of medium ones right here and right there. So we've got time. We can swatch this. Let's just go ahead and do it. So let me get me a, a wipe here and we will, we will, we will get on this thing because I got to have a wipe. Because there's lots of shades and I only have pretty much four fingers to work with. I could use my thumb, but swatches with the thumb just aren't all that great. Alright, so the Scandal palette has lots of dark shades, it seems like to me. So anyhow, let's just go from left to right. We've got Snake, Drama Queen, Confession. Problematic. Okay, so we have those four. Really pretty. Woo, look at those shimmers, especially that gold one. That is really nice. All right, and then we have haters, jealous. Gossip and rumors. I don't want to drop the palette and it's sliding all over the place. Oh, wow. That gray could be built up a little bit more. That was with my pinky. Anyway, it's a matte. So it's not as intense as some of the others. All right, let's just continue. Okay, and then we have Heartbreak, Blackmail. Ooh, look at that. Exposed and Messy. Look at this black, y'all. It is intense. And again, the one that I did with my pinky just didn't turn out good. All right, here, let me wipe my fingers off and because I got to get that black off before I get into anything else. Ooh, that black is intense. Look at that black, y'all. <clears throat> I hope the white is pigmented. I 
Okay, let my fingers dry. All right, and now we're down into the bottom row, which we have bad behavior, toxic vibes, which is like a purple. I didn't realize that till just now. Tell me, the one that I thought was white, it's like an off-white. And then we have Kiss Me, C-H-I-S-M-E which is a shimmer. I'm right down there on my elbow with it. <laughs> Those are really pretty. I like that. That dark wine colored one. I like that a lot. And the white is really good and pigmented. And so is that red. Okay. And let me let me swatch Kiss Me again because that that's the light gold and it didn't show up. It was on my elbow. So canceled, Kiss Me canceled and dirty laundry. And let's see, let's just put those right here. So we've got like some dark browns and one of them's a shimmer, the one on the end. So kiss me, that light gold, that's really going to be pretty in the inner corner. What a really nice palette. I am super excited about these swatches. I love I love warm coppery browns. We got the dark browns, that wine color, lots of reds. That's like a burnt orangey red right there. Love this orange right here. This is gorgeous. That coppery shimmer. Then that you got that deep black and that white. Yay! We're gonna have fun with this. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Yeah. Thumbnail. <laughs> Alright, let me wipe these off. Okay, so they're going to blend together. A lot of them are going to blend together and make like shades of brown. So lots of, um, you know, brown toned looks warm reddish brown torn toned looks I like looks like that I think they look good with my blue eyes I'll make sure and get all this up off my arm so let's see where are we at 13 minutes yeah that's long enough let me peel this off and just gonna apply it to my neck like I've been doing And let that just sit right there for a few minutes while we pat the rest of this in. It felt really, really good, especially around my eyes. My eyes are still really dry. This one right here still has redness where it's still healing. It's not a scab or anything. It's just layers of skin that, you know, have, the skin has to turn over, you know. But I, I have, like, hyperpigmentation anyway. So, I'm just hoping that it's not going to be permanent. You know, that darkness is not going to be permanent from the style that was in my eye. So, anyway, let me just get rid of this stuff. I don't really save, you know, color savers and the sleeves to palettes too much. Occasionally I will, especially if it's like a limited edition collector's item. I'm going to straighten something up here that fell. But for the most part, I really don't. Okay, y'all have to go see Chelsea, see what she's up to today. She's got different content than me. You know, once she gets her mask on and she'll be talking to y'all about what's on her mind. 
and I will leave the link to her video down in the description. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't been over to Chelsea and to meet her yet, you know, she is a content creator that does makeup looks and collabs and skincare and hauls and you know, there's a lot of similarities between our channels. So anyway, she's just really uh, cute and young and colorful and she calls everybody her unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> which is really really cute I just love it so anyway go over and join the unicorn family all right y'all that's it for me today happy face mask Friday everybody leave me a comment down below let me know how your day is going give me a thumbs up and this is mr. fantastic my thumbs up ink pen he says thank you very much all right, I love y'all. Thank you for watching. God bless you today is my prayer, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.